So I had a lot of requests for people asking to see the Xbox One dashboard, stuff like that, how it really stacks up compared to the 360. And uh, personally, it's a lot smoother. Uh, check this out. Right now, I'm actually downloading some games. I'll actually just show you what I'm currently working with. Uh, right now, Dead Rising 3. Killer Instinct's actually free. Uh, I'm getting Rise and then Forza. It's just taking forever to download because some of these files are huge. But everything's kind of window in window. Like, you can... You go here, if I wanted to start, like, you can actually start this while it's installing. Uh, Dead Rising 3, for example, just pops right up. Um, I was actually playing around in this earlier. I'm actually going to be doing a full series on this later today, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. I've been waiting for this game since I started my YouTube channel. Uh, but to really go back, let's say you want to quit and start a different game. Well, I'll show you, like, starting up Killer Instinct from that. It'll show a little screen... And it'll load on this for a minute before starting the game. And then when you go back to play Dead Rising 3, it'll kind of do a, a screen kind of like that. And then the game will start. But if you want to back out at any time, you just do that. And when you, when you hit the home button, it actually goes back to the dashboard and it lowers the volume. So uh, now we got, you can pin stuff to the side over here. This is just everything that came default with it. Uh, my gamer tag, everything shows up right here. I don't really know how all this works. Like, I'm still figuring out. So I'm actually showing you guys, like, as I am experiencing this for the first time. You get the achievements. If you want to DVR something, you can do that. Um, haven't really worked on that too much. Really, what's cool. So the PlayStation 4, uh, when you buy games, you have to... If you digitally download it, it's different. You don't need the disc. But let's say you, you buy the disc. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to install anything else after you've installed it once. But you need the disc every time. Whereas this... I can start any of these games up, and that's it. It's done. You got TV where you can set up TV. Let me just click on this. I'm not even sure what this does. Hopefully, it doesn't, like, destroy anything. A new way to watch TV. So you can play games and watch TV. That's so sick. <laughs> that is so sick. I'm about to watch some key and pill on that. Uh, we, got, we got the Xbox Store. The interface is a lot like the PlayStation 4. They're, they're equally, I think, about as smooth... Uh, I think this one's still, compared to the PlayStation 4, oh, they got the Internet Explorer, and bing, oh, Jesus. Now they actually make the main thing the middle, because it used to be like a giant ad, you know? Uh, what we got? You got music, you put apps on there, uh, buy music, and then the games, it's, it's, everything is kind of the way it was on the 360, except they just kind of made it a lot, lot more slicker, if you would. But uh, that's really it. I'm trying to think, if you go to My Games and Apps, as stuff is installing, you can play it. You can play something else while the other stuff's installing. Uh, settings. Okay, so there was one feature that I didn't get to show you. Uh, I'm not going to show you the Kinect. I mean, that's just... I got mine turned off. It. I don't think it's fully turned off until you unplug it. I know they got, like, privacy covers. <laughs> I'm not about to be just on camera 24-7. Uh, snap. This is one of the things I wanted to show you. So basically, when you're playing a game, like Francis, I'm about to show you some Killer Instinct. Probably in another video. I plan on showing you gameplay for different games, but you can choose what you want to have snapped on the side, and that's basically, uh, like right now, it needs to be in... Okay. So I need to set it up in the full screen area. That basically is saying, if I want to watch TV, it snaps it to the side. If I want to browse the internet, I can snap it to the side. Uh, but with that being said, though, that's really everything. I think the only thing I probably didn't show you was the QR thing, which is really sick. Basically, when you have the Kinect set up, uh, you, instead of entering, like, a 25-digit code, you actually wave a little QR code in front, like, and you get your, like, free month of Xbox Live Gold, or you redeem, like, an, a downloadable content for a game or something like that. But this is, like, the current selection of stuff they have. It's, it'd be kind of cool to go back to this in like three or four years and like see <laughs> how much this has changed but very polished uh i was able to get most of the games early on here so but that's being said uh hope you guys enjoyed the video i don't usually do stuff like this but people were asking for it and uh with that being said i'll see you guys on the flip